come back to the second half of tonight's Snarl card. And if the first half didn't blow you away, then the second half is sure to get your attention. We'll be starting with a ladies division title defense and end with a legends division main event like you won't believe. And yes, that's all after an amazing first half already. You text, Dr. Beverly sounded really annoyed in her segment about that cell match. You and Bell messed each other up pretty good. Yes, well, the bottom line on that one in the ledger is real simple. I walked away and too short didn't. I'm back at work and he ain't gonna be back at work for weeks and we won't have to look at his ugly face for a while. I'm happy. So have you found out who was responsible for making sure we even had a Southwestern show without Bell? Yeah, I found out who he is, and I'm going to meet him at Rage on Monday, because i got to find out where all this money I gave Scott Bell has gone. More details to follow, I suppose. Meantime, let's move forward with the second half, and leading us off, the Joyce Grable Memorial Championships up for Grabskis here, as Maurice Soulette challenges Liberty Bell Danielle Heathcote for the strap. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Honor Heritage Junior Championship. That chorus of booze you're hearing is from Mrs. Miz herself, Maurice Mizanin, you let, and she's still as popular as ever, right up there with group panels and double hernias. Damn, Trilly, you've been hanging around me a little bit too long. So the basic story here is a simple one. Danielle is due to defend the Joyce, and it's Maurice's turn in the lineup. And so, here we are. And despite a lack of any real popularity in the ladies' division, and a consistent lack of success, she's made up her mind. She wants that JGM title from Danielle. puts the title into the referee's hands. She's always hoping it comes back to her at the end. All right, Will, let's dispense with all the pleasantries and have ourselves a championship match. There's a bell. Both girls come center and Maurice. Comes off with a couple of forearms, but Danielle counters, and now Maurice. Twisting the arm. Danielle Heathcote here. Oh, goes behind. Now into a hammerlock. Shoves Danielle away, but Danielle counters with an elbow, locks up with her, goes behind. Oh, 
pass suplex. Takes her down to the mat. Maurice goes behind. Trips her. Trips Danielle to the mat. Well, she didn't like that. Saw she was first. She punched. She pounded her fist on the mat. She did not like that one at all. Huh. Yeah, well, Danielle, real nice girl. Her and Patty Powers both there. You know, they're cool. Hey, I have I had Danielle come up to me a couple of weeks ago. And she's real soft spoken and stuff. We like no text listen. Uh, you know, me and Patty, uh, we understand that there's no brand split or anything. But uh, if, you, if, you, if you don't mind, we'd like to stay loyal to Snarl. I'm like, there's no loyal to Snarl. I mean, you know, just uh, you know, you do what you do wherever you do it. It don't matter. I mean, if you've got a Snarl title, you've got to defend it on our show. That's it. Other than that, feel free to do what you want to do. But I, I was kind of touched by that. And I thought it was kind of sweet. She's a nice kid. All right. Meanwhile, the nice kid's outside fighting with Maurice. Takes herself back inside the ring. Maurice follows her in. Kick to the midsection and a, oh, a hard series of kicks and a toss across the ring here. Huh. Yeah, Danielle, that, uh, that Joyce Grable title just means the world to her, man. Huh. Whoa, hard right. Whoa. Goodbye, Maurice. Welcome to the outside. Huh. Man. Danielle gathers her up again. Has her up. Where's she going? Whoa, ho Into the ring steps head first. Man, just let gravity do the work for her. Wow, okay. Oh, power slam. Beautifully executed, too. Yep. Oh, man, a forearm and a kick. And another forearm and down goes and Reese will let it in. Oh, this is Miz having her problems right now, man. Gets back in the ring. Danielle follows her in. Whips her to the far corner. And a monkey toss. Yeah, well, Danielle's been in, way in control of this one so far. Maurice pushes her off. Now she's getting ready to deal some sort of serious blow here. Okay, no, guess not. <laughs> well, that balloon got popped in a hurry. Huh. Now, Danielle's ready to strike. Oh, let's see where this goes. Oh, into the sleeper hold. And this one's won her plenty of matches already. No, she lets the hold go. Not sure what that's about, but okay, right. I thought it was going to be a pin, but she goes for this interesting little submission hold right here. I mean, wow, okay. Huh, I'm impressed. I'll shut up. <laughs> All right. Huh. Hard forearm. Danielle misses with a kick. Maurice connects with a kick of her own. Danielle counters with a forearm. Oh, and a spear, man. Whoa. Huh. Fast as a cat, wow. Oh, Maurice with a counter of her own. Gathering up Danielle here. They all are there tussling. Danielle shows her way and spears her a second time. Whoa. Huh. Yeah, well, I guess that Just Grable's kind of special, huh? Oh, jaw jack. Files it up with a clothesline, and now Danielle's stuck up in the corner. Oh, Maurice. Foot choke. Definitely. 
definitely not in the best of moods lately. The whole situation with the Bell Council has just gotten on her nerves. And I guess we're going to see where that goes in the near future. Right now, it's all about Maurice, and Maurice is in big trouble right here. Huh. Maurice escapes the corner but gets tagged. Huh. Goes down into the crossface. Huh. Well, this could be over right here. Huh. Maurice, with no place to go, taps out. And Liberty Bell Danielle retains the Joyce Grable Memorial title. Here is your winner, and still, Honor Heritage Junior Champion, the All-American Belle Danielle. And there you have it, friends. Daniel Heathcote successfully defending the Joyce Grable Memorial Tournament Championship against Marie Soulette with a decisive submission win yet again. And so the All-American Philadelphia native picks up another singles win by submission, and Danielle Heathcote is fast becoming the queen of the tap out around here. Hopefully, she and Patty Powers will begin to take it easy for a while with the next big supercard just about three weeks away. And whatever American powers will be getting up to, you can be sure, it's gonna be a huge deal. And on that happy note, fans, we'll return with more snarl action in just a moment.